the relationship of Switzerland and China are really in a honeymoon stage right now. China, of course, has undergone many steps um, of development. Uh, it's now what, reaching what we call the third wave of development, where innovation is absolute key. Chinese government is emphasizes um, mass entrepreneurship by now. They want to become not known by made in China, but made by China. So you can see this in many sectors of the everyday lives in China, especially taking a normal one in the restaurants. Any more welcome by people, you're welcome by an iPad or just a tablet, showing you every menus that you can have on videos. You can just already connect your phone to your tablet and pretty much order very quickly what you need without doing any administrative uh, constraints. The thing is that the service is, of course, much better because as soon as you click on one thing, especially like you want a soup or a noodle, everything is brought right away. But you can also do shopping in your restaurant. You can have a bed for your baby if he's crying right now. You can play games uh, during your restaurant's experience. And by the way, the most interesting thing, you don't have to ask for the bill, which is something that we are used to in Europe, which is actually antinomic and we hate to do because we have to yell for the bill. But by the way, they invented no bill because everything is already pre-registered in your tablet. So this is one way of seeing the revolution happening in China. We're not even having right now here in Switzerland, neither in Europe or in the United States. The second thing is all pay payment systems. You know, WeChat or Baidu systems, there's new internet companies providing uh, without any cards, without any cash systems. And you can spend easily a month without having a single, um, a single note in your pocket, uh, just using your mobile phone, paying around. When I'm talking about this constant revolution is themselves, they don't even know where it's really going. Um, they will be regulating as much as they can, uh, when they can, uh, and when they have understood their own revolution. But today, it's an absolute place to be uh, if you want to stay in business because innovation is happening in it's what I call the new, new world. Now, you've heard certainly of the free trade agreement which was signed in 2014 by Switzerland and China, which is the most diverse and complete free trade agreement ever signed between China and another country in this planet. Um, we had the visit of President Xi Jinping in January here in Switzerland, an official visit linked also with the World Economic Forum in Davos, where President Xi Jinping has made one of the most important speeches, certainly of his career. The relationship of Switzerland and China are really in a honeymoon stage right now. Uh, now talking about finance, we have seen also one of the biggest and largest uh, investment of a Chinese state-owned company abroad, Camp China, bought uh, Sigenta for 43 billion US dollar, which actually shows uh, the solidity of this relationship and how we can build sustainable economic relations between the two countries. It's not finished. There will be many more Chinese companies coming to Switzerland. And certainly we're going to be looking, as Chinese says, for harmonious relationships.